Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you this makeup look today. So I made this eye a more vertical almond shape and I made this eye a little more round, bigger horizontal shape. So let's get started. Right now, I am finished all the foundation and contour and blush and lips. And I'm gonna work on my eyebrows and eyes. Okay, so first I'm gonna use this palette. Uh, from MAC. My face is so puffy. I cried a lot last night because I've been uh, watching Korean drama. Right now I'm watching 39. So emotional. You guys should watch it. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna work on the right side of my eyes. It's more ermine shape. So put the eyeshadow and the blend it like goes out and and blend on here. In our Asian face, we have very like, we don't have a nose bridge. So when you put the contour color over here, it makes nose taller. Okay. Okay, and the other side has the same color. So I put on the, I'm gonna make my nose bridge. I want to make my this eyes a little bit round. So I put color entire my eyelid. I don't make any almond shape, just make it round shape. Use this palette. And this is all the brown shade. And I really love this. And the big one is a cream eyeshadow. And then on the side is a powder. So I take this brown cream color and put outside a corner right here. Do you see that? It's already totally different shape. It's like more almond shape. And I take the same color one more time and I will do on this side. So since I want to make more round shape, so I put dark color right here and dark color outside. And I put the dark color inside here. So I put the dark color and tie my eyelid. It's then take another blending blush, fresh one, and blend, 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 blend. And then I will take the same palette, but I will take a powder. So you can just go over where the the cream eyeshadow is so it's more so it just smash it out just keep blending blending brush movement is keep like round movement like this because you want to make a round shape okay and then take a small brush and I would go over where it is. Exactly the same spot. Okay, and then bottom eye. Take the same color. And so it's entire my bottom part. And this side is maybe only outside a corner. Like this. Okay, and the eyeliner. I used this uh, Lancome, so I've been using it for a long time, so it's very small. Um, I put now on the waterline 
and this side is only out corner okay and it's the same as on the top too i'm just gonna draw a very fine line and this side this eye I put on top of my lashes and bring it out like very tiny cat eyes and I'm gonna put on a waterline can I see And this side, so on this side, I draw over on top of my lash line as well. But this side, I put only on the top of my lashes here. And inside, I'm just going to put only a water line. And take a small tiny brush. And I take this dark black cutter uh, dark dark black color powder and i'm just going to tap where i draw the eyeliner so it's it'll set And I take this angle brush and I'm making a cat eye effect. Okay, here we go. Um, the ink corner, I am going to use the same palette, the highlight color. And right here inside. Tom Ford eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna use this gold color so I'm just gonna use it a little bit on my finger finger and then place right in the middle okay and I put the same highlight color underneath here you see the difference now I want to go a little bit more darker so I'm just gonna take the same eyeshadow palette but it's a little dark one Dark color and put it in it. I'm gonna make a double eyelid on this side. So I wanna make sure when I make a double eyelid, it works good. Before I start doing my eyelashes, I'm gonna work on my eyebrows. I usually don't put too much color in the corner because I want to make a soft look. I'm just going to use a little, the same uh, MAC contour palette. Just going to put a little bit of color in the corner. It just blends in. And then eyeliner. So liquid eyeliner. Oh. Okay, and then... This eye start from here and go over the very small wing. I already have my eyelash extensions, so I'm just gonna brush them out on this side since we are going for the almond shape. I put eyelashes underneath of my lashes right here because my uh, my extensions is already curly. So if I put eyelashes on top of my extension, it'll curl like super curly. So I don't want that. 
I want like eyelashes to be out. I'm gonna put one more right here on the other side. So this is a 10 millimeter. Okay, I just added three individual lashes. This one, three of them, only on the middle, top of my eyelash extensions. So my, my eyelash extensions curl already, and when I put the false lashes on top, individual one, it curls up a little bit more, opens up a little bit. And, I am going to mascara only on the bottom. Okay, then I'm gonna make my eyelid bigger on this side. This is Japanese uh Japanese product. It's a liquid, but it's not glue. And one more thing, I think this is Japanese or Asian thing. So when you look at the Korean idol, they have a little bit like eye poof right here and a little bit crease on the bottom. So apparently that makes your eyes makes looks bigger. So I'm gonna make that. Here we go. Okay, and it's all done. I know it looks really crazy. I use pretty much exactly same eyeshadow palette. The only thing I use different product is probably eyelashes, right? I think, yeah. So on this side, I used 12 millimeters uh, individual lashes, is which which is more subtle. And on this side, I used 10 millimeter um, individual lashes, which is a little bit more fuller and the volume. So and I put only in the middle right here. So it makes it a little bit more round shape and I put it only on the corner so it makes it a little bit more arm and shape. So even though you use exactly same eyeshadow palette, you can make a variety of different shape. So let me know what you guys think and try it out and I will see you next time.